my name is Abby Lynch and I'm the Teen Services Librarian at the Brookfield Library and I'm here with some more book recommendations this week. The theme this week is books for fans of musical theater. So I tried to pair a book with a popular musical um, that I think people would be interested in. So there's a couple of varieties of that and then also um, there's just some general theater inspired suggestions. So the first book I want to talk about is called Be More Chill by Ned Vizzini. And this book actually came out in 2004. I, it's kind of a throwback. I read it when I was a teenager. Um, but it was pretty recently adapted into a Broadway musical by Joe Iconis. Um, so if you're a fan of the show, you should definitely check out the book and see what's similar, what's different, where you got the inspiration. Um, so it's about Jeremy, who is kind of your average high school dork, until he finds out about the squip. And the Squip is a supercomputer that you swallow and that, then it instructs you on how to get whatever your heart desires. It will help you bring that about in your life. Um, but is relinquishing your self-control for the sake of being cool really worth it? And that's what Jeremy kind of struggles with here. This one's a double whammy theater uh, suggestion because in addition to being made into a musical, there is a theater production that takes place in the plot of the book. So double whammy. So the ebook and the audiobook of Be More Chill are both available on Hoopla, and the original cast album and the Broadway cast album are both also available on Hoopla. So if you wanted, if you don't know the musical or the book, you could check out both on Hoopla. The next um, book recommendation is for fans of the musical Six by Lucy Moss and Toby Marlowe. And the musical Six was set to open on Broadway March 12th, so right when the Broadway shutdown happened. So they ran their previews, but they didn't get a chance um, to open the show yet. Um, and that musical is tells the story of Henry VIII's wives, only they're reimagined as sort of like these pop icon divas. So it's a very fun score. And my recommendation for fans of the musical six is The Dead Queens Club by Hannah Capen. And so this actually takes the same historical figures, Henry VIII and his wives, and it sets it in high school. So instead of his wives, it's his ex-girlfriends. And Henry has it all. He's the jock, the genius, and the brooding bad boy all in one, which sort of explains why he's on his sixth girlfriend in two years. But what it doesn't explain is why the two, why two of those girls are dead. So it's history meets high school meets mystery. So it's kind of got a little something for everybody. Um, and this has the ebook and audiobook on Hoopla. Six, the musical, um, the album is not available on Hoopla, but I've been listening to it on Spotify. So if you have a Spotify account, you can listen to it. Or I'm sure there's some YouTube videos up um, from past productions um, or promotional clips. Um, so that's the Dead Queens Club for fans of Six, the musical. The next one's kind of an obvious one. It's kind of a gimme. And that's Conceal, Don't Feel by Jen Kalanita, and this is obviously for fans of Frozen, the movie or the musical. I can't resist a Disney musical because they are the most sing-alongable, so you can't really, you can't really fight against it. I look at this cover and I start singing in my head. So this is from Disney's Twisted Tale series where they reimagine familiar Disney stories um, with a different backstory or a different spin on it. So this tells the story of Frozen, but imagines if Anna and Elsa never knew each other. So how would the story be different without the sisterly support to rely on? Um, and this is available as an ebook on Hoopla. And music from the movie, if you're so inclined, is also available on Hoopla as well as the original Broadway cast album. So for the Frozen fans, conceal, don't feel. Um, yeah, I might check that one out. <laughs> the next one is actually a book. It's not specifically a teen book, but it's a graphic memoir called Fun Home by Alison Bechtel. This is another throwback. This one's from 2006, I believe. And it's a pretty famous graphic novel, um, or a graphic memoir, I should say. It's based on her real life. And um, it tells the story of Alison Bechtel's relationship, her fraught relationship with her father. So she grew up in a funeral home or fun home. And um, it tells kind of the story of their relationship. He was very distant. And then in college, Alison comes out as a lesbian and she discovers that her father was also gay, as well as some other family secrets that come up in this mix. So it's definitely a mix of, you know, tragedy and comedy and, um, it's called a family a family tragic comic 
is the subtitle. So, you know, that's what, that's what you'll get there. And it was adapted into a Tony Award winning musical um, that was on Broadway in 2015. So you might um, know some of the songs from that. Ring of Keys, I think, is the, the big showstopper um, that is sung by the little girl version of Allison in the musical. And the comic is available on Hoopla. Again, the music's not, but I'm sure you can find that wherever you listen to your music. And then the last suggestion today, we would not have theater without our backstage crew. And so that is why the backstagers, the comic The Backstagers is my last suggestion. And that's by, the comics are by James Tynan the fourth and Ryan Tsai. And um, I really like this series. It's great for fans of Lumberjanes if you like that kind of bright color, poppy, kind of frenetic uh, found family friend group, um, you'll like the Backstagers if you like Delumber James. And so it's a comic series that follows the antics of the stage crew at an all-boys school. But their backstage area is not just a scene shop and a prop closet. It is a portal into these endless changing hallways where there are strange creatures and legends of missing stage crews from years past. And the comic series is available on Hoopla. It's also available, um, the narrative form is available in ebook format and they're available as audiobooks and the audiobooks are narrated by musical theater actor Andy Mientis. So I hope between those suggestions there's something for all of you musical theater fans out there and even if you aren't a fan of the musicals they're all still good books. Um, I would love to hear if you have any book to musical pairings that you'd like to share. Um, you can send um, me an email or put it in the comments or I get in touch with us on social media and we'll be back again next week with some more suggestions. Take care.